Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, the YouTube channel. This this uh, yes is uh, we're doing Elk Camp 2022. I think we this should time just around. So cut and redo. <laughs> so, yeah. So we're up here hunting elk. <laughs> this is, can you drink a beer or something? You are the one. I don't know why you're in a collared shirt. No one's gonna listen to you like that. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> Hey, this is Shane, and I'm like, I'm Emma. Oh, no, make your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Elk Camp 2022 uh, up here in northern Alberta. We are just getting things ready. We have a mess all behind us of stuff that we're getting kind of packed up and put together for tomorrow morning. Uh, today is September 7th, 16th, uh, the evening of. It's probably about 10.30. I just got up from Edmonton, so we're finally just getting everything together, but tomorrow morning is the first official day of rifle elk season here in the zone that we're hunting specifically, so kind of getting everything together. We're excited to get out there, but we just figured that we'd get this, um, that we'd get this, uh, little intro piece done. Um, thanks again for watching all the videos and for checking out this video. If you love it, uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I don't know really how to connect it, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Uh, Shane Hunts, so thanks again for watching all these videos. I'm happy to have you come along with uh, watching our hunts. See you tomorrow. What's happening, Em? Hey everyone, we uh, we just finished. Shh, fucking don't yell. With all the elk running around. Yeah, you scare them <laughs> away. No wonder we're not seeing anything. Yeah. So uh, we just finished up our morning hunt there. Uh, weather could have been better for sure. Ran into some rain and then west wind that was picking up, so wasn't ideal for for hunting, especially on this piece of property. But. Uh, Somebody had a shot there in uh, to the west of us, so hopefully somebody tagged out on a on a nice elk there this morning. Uh, seen a couple does and uh, some fawns, but other than that, she's been pretty quiet. Haven't really heard any bugles or anything there this morning. Yeah, pretty nasty out here this morning. So it's not even well. It's relatively cold, but just pouring rain this morning. So yeah. Hard to, yeah, not the most ideal conditions. So we'll check in again tonight. Yep. Gonna go get some coffee. So it's the evening of opening day here. We just found a different spot that we're gonna set up for tonight. And a couple kilometers uh, away from where we heard the shots, so we're gonna try a different area. The weather's a little bit better than it was this morning. It's there's no no rain anymore. And it's a little cooler, but the wind picked up a little, so hopefully. The back again uh, this afternoon we're changing things up a little bit the last couple of days has been kind of frustrating where we continue to run into different hunters um, when we were hunting there there was a couple 
uh, hunters on quads that were just riding up and down the adjacent property and we were literally running into hunters on the quarter section of property that we were hunting so we're in a totally different location altogether and we're shifting up our focus today too we're not hunting uh, cut blocks as we generally would we're gonna be pushing bush today so it's finally sunny out it's the rain is kind of done for a little bit good feelings over here I don't know weather looks be. good the weather could be good tonight, so we might actually... I'm gonna hold my tongue here, but we'll see what happens tonight.
I don't care. It's too late. He's good. He's good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Baby. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. We're gonna we're gonna oh. walk up to it. Yeah. Let's give him a minute. Yeah. Elk sticks, baby. <laughs> this is gonna be. That was the hard. Anyone who tells you elk hunting is easy. <laughs> oh my God. We have been. This is the second year that we've been fully invested in elk hunting. Fully invested in elk hunting, and we went three days without seeing a single thing, and then all of a sudden this morning, just dropped below zero. It was, oh my god. You can't That was wild. There's, when you get a bull in that close and start hearing them screaming, you're going to be hooked for life. First bull elk down, oh my god. It's gonna be so hard to get out. Oh yeah, we are way the fuck. <laughs> it's gonna be fucked. <laughs> oh my god. I also uh, broke my collarbone like two months ago, <laughs> so I'm only allowed to carry 10 pounds, which is. <laughs> <laughs> so, guess who has to haul it all out? <laughs> okay. What the fuck? <laughs> he was a nice one. <laughs> he was a really nice one. Oh what God, if I'm he's starting bigger to than... shake now? Well, yeah, <laughs> you were so, you were so yeah, like, I was serious. In. I was just dialed in. <laughs> I feel like I shot it. I'm so worked up right now. All right. That is Let's awesome. Let's here, but... Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So right where that aspen tree is? Okay, so. He's right there. Oh my god. He's probably 25 yards away. Let's check him out. Man, he smells so bad. Is it kicking in now or what? Oh my god. Hopefully he's not playing possum. <laughs> oh, he smells so bad. He is rank. Oh my god. <laughs> smells like barnyard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Gene. Well you just uh, had a successful elk hunt, obviously here. Sorry, just a terrible camera girl over here. But uh, let's go over what happened today. I thought that was gonna be the cruelest game of cat and mouse because we started we started hearing bugling at what ten minutes well five minutes after light I think and then they started getting more faint and more faint and more faint. We just followed the advice of all the pros that we've been kind of 
in contact with over the last couple of days and keep keep following it cow calling you know and we, these last 200 300 yards 200 yards probably we didn't let out a single bugle we just were kind of peeping and chirping and we heard it echoing all up and down this ravine here and so we, we couldn't exactly pinpoint where he was because the sound was echoing everywhere so we knew that it was going to be a different it was the temperatures were going to drop a little bit it was going to be minus two or minus three i think when we came in we could see our breath and everything so it was the the rest of the week isn't looking good and the week the week pr uh, prior to this has been all rain we are we've hiked in probably i don't know 4k it's a, it's a ways back. <laughs> it's a long ways back. So then we followed this guy, followed this guy. We heard him screaming in the ravine. In the back of my mind, I was still, I think that's why I didn't get so jazzed up. I was like, it's probably another hunter. It's probably another hunter. I was like, there's no way our calling was working. <laughs> and the crashing, and then you start to hear that low belly, like, and then you're like, okay. I think this might be <laughs> And so, yeah, we got set up here, and we knew that he was coming out of this ravine, and uh, he kind of appeared at 40 yards, was behind some bush, and we were already set up, so we just said, okay, we're going to just keep waiting for him to come in. Any doubts that anyone may have had about a 308 Winchester putting down an elk, let's just put them to bed right now. It works. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, let's let's see it, Jane. You guys want to see, let's get ready to get my hands on this guy? Uh, put oh gun my down gosh! Here. All right, um, all right. Let's check her out. My God! What? Look at freaking all the brush in the way here. Oh my! God. Look at that! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Can't ask. She's legal. <laughs> That's oh beautiful, Shane. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, mine was a five by four, so just <laughs> check yourself a little bit. This guy. That's I, wish you could, I could give you a little taste of what this guy smells like right now. It sounds like I am laying in a pile of pig shit. <laughs> This guy is. Let's rotten. get that head up on that, like on the log here. Ooh, let's check him out. Oh my god. My goodness. Success. Success. Look oh. at that. Oh. All right. What a nice animal. So much, buddy. I appreciate this. All this. I'm really excited for. Uh, for the steaks that we're gonna have with this guy and the burger, and my girlfriend told me that that's don't come home with, with elk steaks or don't come home at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we got it. Thank you so much, guy, for hooking us up with with some tasty steaks, and you'll be well taken care of. So all right. Thanks again, everyone, for for watching this. I don't think this is gonna be the end. A couple of beers tonight, eh? <laughs> Man, we're gonna have a freaking <laughs> a lot. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Alright everybody, so this is the final product here. Check this is what out. we got. We got, like Emma said, this is going to be a treacherous hike out of here. I just wanted to take a second to thank Emma for everything that she did. Um, <laughs> and is about to do. <laughs> and is about to do too. Like I said, I, I, my collarbone is broken. I was in a bike accident and I can't quite, I can't lift a whole bunch of stuff and so it's gonna be a long day uh, for Emma. <laughs> but Emma's been doing everything for me since I came up here. She's been scouting. I, I live in the big city and Emma lives in uh, the rural community. And so if, if it wasn't for Emma, I don't think that this, I don't know if this would have happened. She was doing all kinds of scouting all summer um, and getting landowners permission and, and trekking down bulls on pieces of crown property. And so a big appreciation and thanks to my little sister, Emma. So she's, She's, she's pretty awesome, so anyone needs a free guide <laughs> that cooks for you. <laughs> you can pretty your... much get me to do anything for a case of Coors Light, so... <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> I'm hunting. <I'm> <laughs> so yeah, so again, thanks to Emma. We'll be back again probably next year, or we still have an elk tag left too, so we might get out yeah. a couple more times, but I think it depends on... Today's only, what, Tuesday? Uh... Yeah. I don't know what day it is. So season opened on Saturday. 
I think it's Tuesday. Good thing I had that Red Bull this morning. <laughs> yeah, we had some Red Bulls this morning. That's what we're fueled on right now. So let's see if we can get this guy packed out. Big thanks to Emma. Thanks for everything, little buddy. Uh, and yeah, we'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Shane Hunt's channel on YouTube if you're interested in these videos. And hopefully we can keep bringing you... Shoot it a share. Some more. So shoot it a share too if you want. And yeah. Thank you again for everything and and uh yeah we'll get some steaks on the bbq and we'll talk to you guys later i just i listen like i'm hearing like the hunting music that we knew <laughs>